the warp knitting machines. In the picture a model of a Russian machine are invented in 1775 by Crane. They work with collectively moved needles. The warp yarns are fed through the guide needles. These guide needles swing in and in the next step these guide needles make also a shogging movement. The shogging or lapping movement at the open side of the needle is named overlapping. Now you see. And the shogging movement at the closed side of the needle is called underlapping. After the shogging moving, the needles, the knitting needles, move down and form the stitches. Warp knitting machines are classified into tricot machines, as you see it in the picture, Russian machines and crochet machines. Tricot machines work with high speeds up to 2500 stitches per minute. In the upper part of the picture you see the beams, in the left part you see the pattern drive and now you see the lapping movement and the swinging movement of the guide bars. The Russian machine works mostly with latch needles and manufactures textiles of all kinds of end uses. The movie shows a Russian machine with warp beams in the upper part, the pattern drive with chain links in the right part and the shocking and swinging movement of the guide bars. The movie shows the knitting elements of a tricot machine. All involve parts with the harmonic movements. As you see the sinker and the guide needles the first part of the stitch formation is the enclosing of the sinkers of the fabric. Then the needles, the knitting needles move upwards and the guide needles swing in. After the guide needles swing in, they do their overlapping movements, that means lapping on the open side of the needles. Then the knitting needles retract and the enclosing starts again. Swing in, overlapping, swing out, retracting of the needles and forming the stitches. All knitting elements are involved in the stitch formation. The compound needles with its sliders, the sinkers with throat and belly and the two guide bars. The underlapping results in the connection of these yarns, which influence the appearance and the properties of the fabric. After the swinging in the overlapping movement determines the feeding of the needle hooks with yarn and thus the later stitch formation which is visible in the fabric at these points. The tricot machine has an angle of about 90 degree between fabric and warp yarns. The resulting forces on the needles are higher than in the Russian machine Therefore, the fine fabrics are produced on this machine. The curling edges of the fabric, as visible in the movie, reduce quality and may be controlled by fabric spreaders.